Hey, what is up guys? This is going to be another reaction video. So the title of this is called 10 Things You Didn't Know About Everyday Objects. As I have learned recently that Coca-Cola could be considered a chemical thing that you can use for multiple stuff. Which I find a little suspect because we drink it. Isn't it technically hazardous for our life? I guess it's new things we got to study these days. So let's get this started. It begins now. Now, see Coca Cola. Tic Tac lids have a little crater in them that perfectly dispenses a single Tic Tac. I myself am guilty of extracting Tic Tacs the wrong way up until now. But then again, who actually eats a single Tic Tac? I much prefer to pour about five in my hand, then shove them in my mouth and gobble them all at once. Sounds like me. When prom comes, you the dimple like... in the bottom of a wine bottle is known as a punt. The punt is known to serve a few uses, but I'll just explain the main one. Historically, flat-bottomed bottles were hand-blown and would occasionally result in deformities. Huh. Those deformities sometimes prevented the bottle from standing up straight and would make it prone to tipping over. Oh, the punt came okay. about as a solution to this. They would tie up. it off and push the excess up into the bottle. Problem solved. Even though today we have much more advanced methods of glass moulding, we still keep the punt simply because of tradition. Have you ever been at the petrol station and wondered what those little brackets on the top of the nozzle hose are? Not no, really. me neither. Well, some people actually fill up their car and forget to remove the nozzle. Those brackets at the top are a magnetic safety feature that snaps away when forgetful people drive off with a hose still in their car. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> If you buy a drink from, say, Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King, or anywhere that sells drinks in those throwaway cups, obviously they come with those little plastic lids. Now, the main use of them is to stop the drink from spilling out, but did you know they also double as a coaster? They clip on the base of the cup perfectly, but I think I'd much prefer to use it to prevent spills. Never knew that. Mm -mm. I'll bet that almost every pot and pan in your kitchen has a hole in the handle. Now, most people would say that this is for hanging them up, and they'd be right but they also have another use. You can use it to hold a utensil instead of putting it on the side after stirring it. House way, no, it's good. Wow, okay. Have you ever been on a plane and seen those tiny little holes in yeah. the windows and wondered what they're for? I feel like about to they're called bleed so holes, and believe it or not, bleed. they're actually there for our safety. Oh, really? Since pressure changes in the cabin during the flight, it's also necessary to equalize the pressure between the windows, hence the little hole. It also ensures that the outer pane bears the most pressure, so if there ever were a situation that caused added strain on the windows, it would be the outside panel that blows out, which would still keep you relatively safe. If you're watching this video on a PC or a laptop, take a look at your keyboard, yeah, I'm doing in that particular right now. the letters F and J. You'll notice that they're the only keys with a small raised line on them, but why is that? Well these keys are on the home row, and those lines act as a guide for people to correctly position their hands without having to look down at the keys. Actually, I remember the theory is that if you're able to find before. the raised lines without looking, then you'll know where the rest of the keys are from that point. Now some people believe that the holes in the top of some pen lids are part of a big conspiracy. I know this one. They believe that manufacturers put the holes there to dry ink out faster and get you to buy more pens. Make sure that the kid don't That's not totally true. Like that. See, a lot of people chew and bite their pens, and this Ugh. causes on average around 10,000 people per year to choke on them. That hole is intended so you can at least get a little to bit breathe. of air if the yep. lid becomes lodged in your throat. Have you ever noticed that when you're drinking soda from a straw, the straw annoyingly bobs up and down and spins around and makes you look a little silly whilst you chase it around looking like a fish with an open mouth? Well, that's because you're doing it wrong. That hole in the ring pull is designed to hold your little straw perfectly in place so you can easily enjoy your favourite drink. Have you ever bought a soda bottle and drank it and in your boredom slowly taken apart the lid only to find a little plastic circular disc? Well, if you're like me, you probably end up chewing it, but surprisingly, that's not what it's used for. All it is is a seal to prevent the drink from going flat. As the lid is screwed down, it simply squishes it against the top of the bottle. Not very exciting, but, well, now you know. Yeah. And that brings this list to an end. If you enjoyed the video, then it would be much appreciated if you give it a thumbs up and shared it. If you're oh, new around oh, here, then man. why not subscribe for new videos I just, just like this every week? Mad. Anyways, I jolly well hope you liked it, and as always, that's disgusting. thanks for watching. And that suspect on the right, huge suspect.
Alright, so I guess that's it. And if you want to watch the original video, it'll be down below. So show them huge appreciation by liking, subscribing, and telling other people about this video. And as always, if you want me to react to more videos, comment me down below or go on my social media and comment me there and I'll react to it. I got a few stuff to say about this though. I forgot, one of it was, what was it? Uh, I forgot. But I know something's gonna come back to me, so it's whatever. But this video was um, interesting. I liked it, kind of. No, I'm just kidding, I liked it. It was great to know about stuff that we never consider good. Oh yeah, I remember. So they say, I don't drink pop, but you know the sharp stuff on it basically protects it from like um, becoming flat. That's an interesting thing to know because I've never noticed that. Interesting. So <laughs> that's all I have to say today. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. So please like, comment, subscribe. I hope I didn't say that three times. And um, yeah. That's all. I'm a, I'm weird, but yeah. Now I'm solving the Rubik's cube. All right, peace out, this one. Yeah.